Oh yeah, Tactical Panther coming at you. Tactical Panther and Snouter. <laughs> oh baby, you know it. Hello all, and welcome. So, this is my new long-term survival Minecraft world. The other world ended up really badly corrupted. There are a number of problems, but removing mods broke it even more. Decimated it, in fact. And I tried many things to salvage it, but in the end, I had to just let it go. Another big problem, though, was that it didn't work in single player, and you couldn't generate the world as you played, really. There was just too much going on, you know what I mean? You had to pre-generate the world, because it would generate, at best, at a whopping four chunks per second. And, periodically, it would stop generating and lag out. Yeah, there were just all kinds of things. So before I could start making videos again, I had to spend quite a bit of time modifying mods and uh, making sure nothing was stepping on each other's toes. And after a lot of configuring and testing and stuff, stripping a load of mods out, I eventually got it working and working a lot better. But also, I haven't quite found my style yet. My style in anything, in fact. Building. I mean, I've got some things down, but I wouldn't say that these buildings are anything to really aspire to for the most part. There's certainly no mega builds yet or anything like that. And while I like to use Minecraft as sort of my chill out zone, I do aspire to be an epic builder one day. So before I start doing a proper let's play or anything like that, I've decided I'm going to make sort of smaller videos, shorter videos, smaller in scope, while I find my feet. So I'm not going to call it a let's play yet. It's more of a Join me while I explore some mods, and maybe I'll start making better Let's Play stuff later on. For example, what I want to do is maybe one day I'll just walk off from my settlement and build, start again somewhere else miles away. At this point in the game, I'm sort of a nomad, a prospector, because I have a mod called Geolosis. See what it is, is Minecraft has this huge world, and then I have mods like Terralith and Tectonic, and biomes are plenty. So there's this huge world, which especially with all the mods and everything, is generating in this rich and interesting way. And most of the time you don't really have to explore any of it because you can just dig straight down and find everything you need, pretty much. But not with Geolosis. With Geolosis, it really slows down progression, but in a way that I really like. For example, you have to go around looking for samples on the overworld surface, and then you can dig down to get to the resources. They don't just spawn haphazardly all over the place. Although it does make caves look a bit bare and things like that, because there's not as much interesting ore just slapped around all over the place. Although, I have found stuff in caves, so it does happen, but it's just not all the time. It makes things rarer. So you can see, I've been playing for a little while, and everything's still running stable. So that's why I'm picking up the videos here. So yeah, I started over in this part of the world, and uh, I were going to explore down there, but I just set off in that direction and found this other place and built a camp here. And then it became colony number one. Because I am going to have to go around finding resources and things and building little mine huts and settlements around. And then I'm going to try and link them up and stuff with uh, trains eventually. But paths and roads and things like that. Shattered World Limits had to buy the dust, unfortunately. I think I'd need a lot more RAM for that. But I'm not so much bothered about it anyway, because the world is still deeper than it was when I used to play Minecraft a long time ago. And it's something that maybe one day I will install again. Yeah, I took this picture of me and Snouter. It's a bit dark, but it was really snowy outside. Can't so much see it, though it was dark anyway. But I would like to brighten that up, maybe. And we need more pictures, don't we, Snouter? Don't we, buddy? We need more. <laughs> yeah, because we take good pictures of us. We're photogenic. <laughs> no one can deny it. So, in the early game, it was quite tough, because I have a mod. And for those who don't know, it's called Cold Sweat. And it makes it so you can freeze to death or overheat. And then I have Thirst Was Taken, which integrates with it. And that introduces the thirst mechanic alongside the hunger mechanic, which really adds to the survival aspects in my opinion. 
but if you've watched my older videos, the thin air mod that I used to use has been removed because it was just all a bit too unbalanced. This is enough to keep on top of, in that department anyway. So here I am at 54 out of 100 in terms of freezing to death. And so I'm trying to build a campfire to get warm before that happens. And a lot of the early game were like this. And as you get colder you start to lose hearts on your health bar and the edges of the screen get icy. But if you get a heat source you can usually warm up, although I've been in some really cold situations where I needed three fires. And I wasn't planning on sticking around for too long, but then it started raining. So that meant I was going to start getting cold again, so I had to build a shelter. Fast. So because of the snail's pace that it all started out, I'm not going to show everything because I will have to do some of this stuff again at some point when I'm nomading around, branching out from a main settlement to find new places. So it's not like you're going to have really missed anything anyway, if you're feeling like you might have. It's one of them things where when you're playing it, it's fun, but perhaps it's too snail's pace to just start a video like that. Unless, of course, people would want that, but I would assume that, we'll put it this way, if I were to not cut anything out at all, you'd be on around episode four or five, which would be probably about here. <laughs> and at this point, I haven't really got any base or anything. It's just sort of everything's on my back. I'm carrying it around, building little shelters to make it so I can get around this area in relative safety, even if it's freezing cold. But by this point, I got a lot of the bases taken care of. I had food, I had water, I had a backpack, and I was just looking for somewhere to settle. And because I hadn't found anywhere particularly good yet, I just knocked together a stash hut on the riverbank to hunker down within through the snow and stash all my tasty loot. Oh, baby. And I set up, you know, some basics. A few chickens just to get the feathers for arrows, really. And, and some food, but I was mostly living on beef. Oh, and the odd egg sandwich, if I were lucky enough. And then, of course, I would have to get flint, so I build the classic gravel towers, chop them down, and be thoroughly disappointed at the scraps that I managed to get. But I were starting to at least get a surplus of arrows. And I stayed around here, you know, working the land, collecting the eggs. I died a couple of times. And by the way, if anyone knows how to fix this flickering that's happening on my screen capture when I'm in the inventory screen, let me know because it's really weird. I, I just, it's not there when I'm playing. So sorry about that, folks. But yeah, this was very much a stash hut. I didn't put much effort into making it look great or anything. <laughs> I even had to strategically place that fire there so that the water didn't freeze. But I found a better way of dealing with that, using magma blocks. And at this point, there was no organised storage, really. I mean, I had tried to organise stuff, but... There just weren't enough room to roam, man. Not enough room to roam. And a panther has to roam. Now, because I wasn't actually intending to keep this footage as such, I wasn't always screen capturing at this point, which is why I can't really do a whole let's play from the moment I spawned in. But just like what you'd expect, this is where it all began. It all started with punching a tree, I can assure you. Except it's harder to get out of this position, so I'm more of a tribal cat at this point in the game. Panther the tribal cat. <laughs> oh, you know it. When the weather would allow, I would just camp out in the open with the essentials and I'd just fight off any predators. Fool. Yeah, it were all about exploring and prospecting, or rather scouting for samples and marking them down on the map. Now the samples, you can actually break them and pick up the ore. So you can actually get a little bit out of the samples themselves if you don't currently have the means to go down and find them. And so in the very early game, 
this is where you're going to get your resources. But it's certainly not going to be a bulk amount. But I was starting to think I need to get out of all this woodland. It's just too much. And after being pursued by a witch, I decided to just get my shit together, get in my belt, and get the hell out of Dodge. For it was time for the big adventure. Or well, the biggest adventure at this point. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. Anyway, I came across this village that I thought was an abandoned ruin, but now it had these witches in it, and so they had to die. Yeah, they're going to chew through all of my arrows. Great. You know what? I've had just about enough of you idiots. left. And it's a little shitty skeleton. And what? Half a heart? Jeez. I've been careless. I can't believe it. Any one of them arrows from that skelly? And I'd have been dead. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'm not exactly playing hardcore, but I'm trying not to die. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just looking for my belt and I was thinking, what? And it's under the ice. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm just going to keep going. Until I get around the ice. It's bigger than I thought it would be though. A very big problem. Because we're getting cold with three campfires. And that is a problem for us. But I think removing, yeah, removing this ice. That's helping. Which is perfect. Oops. We have... A little ice shelter. It's fast turning into an arctic expedition. Well, since we're stuck here, because I can't really go far in this freezing cold rain, it's time to spruce up the ice shelter. Nothing fancy or anything, you know, just make it livable. It's only a pit stop. In case I'm travelling through and the weather turns. Let's get dry. Whew. Seems to be taking quite a while. Um, oh, come on. Try me off. What? It's just going up and up and up. How 
can that be? Give me a furnace. Yes. Oh, thank God. Right. <laughs> Three fires and a furnace is what it's taken to get me dry and warm. Well, I say warm. I'm not there yet. But it's happening. So if I place something in there and have a free hand, I can pick up the fires and move them. And this smokes shit, so I think we'll make some chimneys. Just try and make it a bit more livable. <sighs> and then we'll purify this water on the campfire. So yeah, that's the Thirst Was Taken mod at work. You can collect water in these water bottles and then you can purify it. And there are other ways of purifying that are more automated, for example. But this is the early game, so we're doing everything by hand. So to purify the water, it actually takes three times on the campfire or twice in the furnace. So it can go a little bit quicker, but then obviously it consumes coal. Whereas if you keep the campfire burning, you can just keep using it, but it's slower, obviously. So yeah, just use this place to cook up supplies and stuff, if trapped in. Not going to develop it much from here. Yeah, so now it's just a case of making sure we've got everything that we need. All the essentials, because we could use this place as another stash hut. A stash hut away from the stash hut. Well, it's been nice knowing your eyes, Shaq. Well, you're a bit of an horrendous abomination at a minute, but when I come back... I might spruce you up a little bit. But I've got places to go. I need to find somewhere good. Looks like we've reached the end. Land ahoy! Ahoy there! Forest? Well, doesn't look like the warmest of uh, areas. <laughs> 